Arunachal youth Miram Tarong, who had gone missing from Upper Siang's Bishing area on the 18th of January, has been released by the Chinese PLA. Yes, indeed, viewers, this is the first image that we're receiving emerging where Miram Tarong can be seen in a PPA kit with a PLA soldier and an Indian Army trooper by his side. Yes, indeed, viewers, these are the first visuals that we are receiving of Miram Tarong on your screens. Indeed, viewers, as you can clearly see, first visuals coming in and as you see, in the middle is, of course, 17-year-old Arunachal youth Miram Tarong flanked, flanked on both sides. On one side, of course, is a PLA trooper and on the other, an Indian Army Jawan. These are, of course, the first visuals we are receiving of Miram Tarong. And well, the Indian Army has been in constant touch with the Chinese PLA to secure the release of Miram Tarong, who had earlier gone missing from the Bishing area and near Jido village in Arunachal's Upper Siang district. Yes, indeed, viewers, we are tracking a big story at this point in time. Arunachal youth Miram Tarong, who had gone missing from Upper Siang's Bishing area on the 18th of January, has been released by the Chinese PLA. And what you see on your screens are the first images emerging where Miram Tarong can be seen in a PPE kit with a PLA soldier and an Indian Army trooper on both his sides. So viewers, these are of course the first pictures emerging of Miram Tarong on your very screens. Let me also tell our viewers here, the Indian Army has been in constant touch with the Chinese PLA to secure the release of Miram Taron, who had earlier gone missing from the Bishing area near Jido village in Arunachal's Upper Siang district. And early in the day, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju had informed that the Chinese PLA has handed over the youth from Arunachal to the Indian Army. And due procedures are being followed and medical examination of the boy is also being conducted. And yesterday, Kiran Rijiju had informed that the Chinese PLA has confirmed that Miram Taron will be repatriated to the Indian side. However, the exact place and time of release was not disclosed. However, accordingly, the Indian Army coordinated the necessary arrangements with the Chinese side. And today, finally, the youth Miram Taron was released by the Chinese PLA. Miram Tarong, of course, was taken into captivity when he had gone on a hunting trip in the Bishing area near Jodi village in Upper Siang district. So the big development we are tracking at this point in time, Arunachal youth Miram Tarong viewers who had gone missing from Arunachal's Upper Siang Bishing area on the 18th of January has been released by the Chinese PLA. And this is the first, these are the first images emerging where Miram Tarong can be seen wearing a PP kit and flanked by two soldiers on both sides. On one side, of course, a PLA soldier and on the other, an Indian Army trooper. And these are, of course, the first visuals emerging of the Arunachali youth Miram Tarong on your very screens, viewers. The Indian Army, of course, has been in constant touch with the Chinese PLA to secure the release of Miram Tarong, who had gone missing from the Bishing area under Jido village in Arunachal's Upper Siang district. And earlier in the day, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju had informed that the Chinese PLA has handed over the youth from Arunachal to the Indian Army. And due procedures are being followed and a medical examination of the boy is also being conducted. All right. And to give us all the latest updates, I am being joined now over the phone by my colleague Ripunjoy Das. Ripunjoy, this is a big development and a big sigh of relief for family members of the Arunachal youth, Miram Tarong. What are the latest inputs you are receiving at this point in time, Ripunjoy? Indeed, Donald, it's a big, big kind of a relief for the family members of Miram Taran. Because we have covered this story on 25th of January, and that day, the father of Miram, uh, father of Miram was very much expressive in his views. He was emotional, he was angry, he was sad, all kind of moods he had expressed. And uh, only we are being now told that we that only because of the coverage of Northeast Line, and uh, this had also been accepted during 
the telephonic conversation with uh, Mr. Tapir Gao, who is the MP Lok Sabha from, uh, from Arunachal East. He has also confirmed that it's only because of that exclusive coverage and ground zero reporting of North East Lab that the matters have been expedited. So, uh, Ronald, this is indeed, a, whatever it is, this is our job only, part of our job, uh, and uh, this is our commitment, uh, North East Lab commitment towards the people of the region that we need to highlight the main issues when the uh, and this is what uh, have uh, has come as a confirmation, and the Union Minister of Law, Kiran Nijiju, has confirmed. And the pictures, one of we have, we see is that we can say that this boy has been released from the TB2 sector, which is in Lohit district. And uh, however, we will have to wait for the official uh, version from the Army TRO. Lieutenant Colonel Harshwardhan Pandey, we had spoken to him uh, some time ago and he said that till now the army is yet to confirm on everything. Uh, I know that, Ronald, that these are official issues, procedures, protocols, several things are involved and uh, before they issue a official statement on this Ronan. right and uh, Ripunjo, you know we've also been given to understand that even though he has been handed over back to the indian army however there are some due procedures that need to be followed including conducting of a medical examination before miram tarong actually goes back to his native village isn't it Ripunjo? yes yes Ronan. basically that is the main thing when these family members are being at we have some kind of information. We cannot, in terms of uh, national security issues, we cannot uh, uh, speak on several other issues. But I am in Tuting now, and I am getting several lot of information, but those are related to national security concerns. And I cannot say on many other issues also or related to this uh, entire case. But uh, what I can share is that the army is now trying to have a video conferencing with Miram and his family members so that they can identify, they can confirm his identity and also his other information which is relevant to the boy and other issues. Right all right, Ripunjada, thank you very much for joining us at this point in time and bringing us all of those latest inputs. So there you have it, viewers, the big development that we are tracking and we will be bringing you all the latest updates on Arunachal youth Miram Tarong, finally released by the Chinese PLA, handed over to the Indian Army and of course certain due procedures are being conducted as we speak. However, this is indeed a big sigh of relief and a big pat on the back for the Indian Army for having successfully repatriated Arunachal youth Miram Tarong back to India.